Like, I think the kid, if every time your daughter misbehaves, just say, keep it up. Mommy's <laughs> they probably look at me like I'm surprised someone who works there hasn't come over and been like, like, hey, did do you need like assistance or something? Did, or? did you get out <laughs> come back to your room? <laughs> oh, so God. yeah, well, you had a group home where I, when I lived out in Webster, there was a group home down the street from us too, but um, my kids, it was I I don't care. They were not. I mean, they would be out there. Girl, you have no idea the stuff that my kids used to do. I can never for, forget the one time I I had the worst flu in my life. And I never get like that. Like I was sick. OK, I had fucking COVID before people knew what COVID was. All right. You're you might have been the origin. Yeah, I think I started that shit. <laughs> so anyway, I'm on the couch. I'm dying. My kids were probably seven and nine at the Mm -hmm. time two girls it's like 40 degrees out snow melted but it's still cold yeah the ground's a little muddy still right I must have somehow fallen asleep which you know you don't do when you've got young kids but I must have passed out all right well I passed out cold (laughs) Uh, long enough for my two daughters to put on two-piece bathing suits and run out to the front of the yard and play in the 40 degree mud, get themselves full of mud running around. I wake up. St- now I'm wrapped in a blanket. I'm coughing. I know like pieces of my lung are coming out. I'm like, where are you? <coughs> where are you? Open the door. There they are full of mud running out front in the 40 degree weather i wanted to fucking kill him i was screaming get in the house get in the house get in the house get in the house house." we had just gotten the new kitten they come running in the house to get away from me because now i'm trying to catch them i'm chasing them i got the blanket i'm dying they run the cat shit on the floor in the kitchen one of them slipped in the shit and flew the other one crashed into her she fell now they're covered in mud and cat shit you know what sometimes i, I got think covid i think i had like covid number eight no it was up to nine <laughs> sometimes I think that I want two kids but then when I hear no. that I'm like I don't know well mine were two years apart so you might be okay now yeah. because you're you're got a big gap in between yeah she's I would she's wait a little longer because you can get her to babysit the next one that's what I'm saying so I'm thinking you might want to wait another two years and plan this shit appropriately two years is like the cutoff because my body hurts. So. Yeah. So does Kevin want a child or is he like, I'll just. I think so. You think I mean, he wants. So yeah, maybe, maybe he I does. Think, I was like, I think he does, but I'm like 33 is like my cutoff. Like my body hurts. I'm tired. Like I need to excrete another person soon. Yeah, I know it. I, I, I know. I agree, but God, just the thought of starting over. I know. Well, the waking up every three hours and like, like, I don't, I'm not like a newborn person. Like, I wish a kid could come out like 10 months old. No, I like when they're like three and they start to talk shit and they crack me up. Aubrey um, talks a lot of shit. (laughs) You're not laughing as much as you used to. (laughs) No, I, you know, okay. So for example, um, when we were in Florida, it was super, like, just deadly humid, super hot out. Oh. And she's with her other little friend who's about the same age. And everyone was just exhausted. And we're trying to find the car in the parking lot. And Aubrey goes, Mom, I'm hot as hell. And then the other girl goes, I'm hot as shit. And then as soon as we got in the car, I was like, girls, I feel the same way you do. So just, like, let it rip, dude. And I have a video <laughs> of them saying the most atrocious expletives you've ever heard in your life. And I won't say it on here because I don't need CPS interested in what I'm doing, but I will <laughs> let you listen to it at a different time. I was like, all right, girls, if you're going to say this, like, just, just fucking get it, get it, get it done. <laughs> I can't, I feel the same way. So it's yeah. 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 I mean, it was very brave of you to go to Florida to Disneyland when you did. And, uh, my favorite was, uh, 
all the t-shirts you had seen on other people. Oh, well, that's what one of my jokes was about. Because yeah. I saw someone that said, I love butt drugs. And then I saw another person wearing a shirt that said, heartbeat of a Disney World junkie. And I was thinking like, so... They couldn't have bought that there. <laughs> it's kind of like maybe a guy who loves butt drugs could like beast through the 12 step program and eventually gain the heart of a Disney world junkie. I was like, these people are so fucked. I was the only person not wearing a Disney shirt. My shirt was like, I hate cops like blatantly on it. And like everyone else was like wearing, like there would be groups of adults. And they wear matching. They'd be like, I'm the sister. I'm the mom of the birthday girl. It's like, no one gives a fuck. I want to take my kid on Splash Mountain and hang out. And I want to get these memories over with bitches. Get out of my way. Yeah. I got some memories to make and I want out of here. With yeah. <laughs> and you know what's funny is so like, so uh, Aubrey just turned five and like, she went on every big roller coaster and like it kind of freaked me out because I was like oh my god like does this like seeing her go on that and getting such a thrill like such a rush from like adult roller coasters I was like so do I have to plan to like put her in rehab for meth like 12 years down the road because like it's kind of freaking me out how into this she is I'm like she is she is full it's kind of isn't that weird though like some kids just have no damn fear. Like, oh yeah, my youngest had no fear. Yeah, she. But my oldest came out anxiety ridden and like fearful. It's so bizarre, like how yeah. their personalities, like at mm-hmm. birth, like that. You know, but so is she one of those kids that really doesn't have a lot of fear? It, well, it actually surprised me because she is very like, um, she'll be like, you know, playing outside of the front yard and run in and be like, mom, I saw a bug like, and she'll be freaking out. And I'm like, well, cool. There's going to be like a lot of bugs always. So I don't know what to tell you. So she'll freak out about like little stuff that doesn't make sense. But it's also like, well, you're five. So you're const- It's like dealing with an intoxicated person all the time. Yeah. So it makes sense, you know, but to see her, I was really surprised. Like to see her go on those rides and be like, let's go again. I was like, um, I almost died. Like, yeah. Like, how? Yeah. So, no, but I mean, I, my little one, I remember when she was little, she would jump off of stuff and I'm like, what? what are you doing? He's <laughs> like yeah. crazy, like bam on her head. And I'm like, you, yeah. like she had no fear. Like it was yeah. crazy. Aubrey, Aubrey looks like I definitely beat the shit out of her like, <laughs> yeah. her legs earlier. And I'm like, can you like put pants on when we go into Wegmans? Because I can't. Yeah. Yeah. That's how my little one was like, she didn't. And that would scare me because I'm like, she, she doesn't even know she's going to get hurt. Like she's crazy. Yeah. But, um, I'll never forget when we took her. I forget we were at some park where they do that rock climbing. She was only like three. She put that helmet on. She climbed all the way to the top. No fear. And then she like pushed herself off the wall so that the guy could lower her down on the rope. I was like, what? What? What am I? What is this innate thing? I, I, you know, and it was so long ago that I don't even think I have a video. Like there was no cell phones or anything then. But I was like, holy shit, this kid's crazy. Earlier, she was asking me, she was like, mom, what were telephones like? Were they attached to the wall? And then she goes, was the TV black and white when you were little? I was like, son of a bitch. Like, Jesus. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> did, you, did they have TV when you were little? Like, I have to tell how you. How old do you think I am? <laughs> my two of my favorite things that are hanging on my fridge right now that she made um that will be there forever is she came home it was probably like six months ago and she's like mom I drew this picture for you and it was a a bush right like an outdoors bush with a bug on it and then underneath she wrote they're a flea on my bush and that's on my fridge And then the other one she did two years ago um, in school where the, it was like Thanksgiving and the teacher was like, what are you thankful for? Whatever. And it was like a cutout leaf. And it just said, Aubrey is thankful for beef. 
and that's also on my fridge and I was like she doesn't need like won't even take a bite of a burger but like super thankful for beef so yeah those are my two <laughs> favorite things I had my I had one kid that wouldn't eat anything and then my little one again we would go out to a restaurant three years old and this little bitch would order the lobster and steak hell yeah. she was old enough to be like clams I said, yeah. you can't, like, you could be allergic. She was like three. <laughs> she wanted all the steam clams she could get her hands on. Oh, my When God. this child was four, she was like calamari. Oh, my God. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. And then my other one, she still doesn't even eat meat. Like, even when she was little, she wouldn't eat meat. Like, it, she did, I don't know, she just didn't like the texture. It's- yeah, my mom told me when I was younger that um, I would order just, like, hot chicken wings everywhere I went. And I was like, all right, well, I haven't changed like at all. So, yeah, but I remember being like, I'm not paying for you to have lobster. Okay. You're four. Get the fuck out of here and go get a happy meal. Seriously. Like, please, do you have a like, Who do we look like? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Kid, yeah kids are definitely uh, a trip. So, what else did you love about, uh, did you love Austin? I loved Austin. Everyone, like even when we went to bars and restaurants, like the people who worked there were so like genuinely like friendly and nice. And actually it was embarrassing because um, we were working or um, we were working, we were eating at this like bar. We found this really nice place right down the street that where we were having brunch and it was fucking amazing. So we went there for like three days and this really cute girl, like, came up uh she was a bartender and she was like kind of talking to us like complaining about a customer but like in a funny way like she wasn't being a dick she was just like wow what the fuck you know because she probably like maybe felt that we were all right and so we're like you know yucking it up with her a little bit and then before I left I like wrote my number down on the uh whatever receipt and I was like hang hang out with us like not in a weird way but like maybe in a weird way but you know whatever and um I was like oh we get back to the Airbnb and then I was like oh fuck I left my mask there like at the bar and I was like Kevin will you go get it for me he's like I'm not gonna go get it I was like well I'm not gonna go get it so we had to Uber to CVS um but (laughs) it was it was awesome everyone was really cool and and even the people who were doing the open mics like were so friendly and would just come up to us and be like hey like what's up and just like have a full-blown conversation about anything mm-hmm. um even from like not that I'm involved in this community here but I'm like it didn't seem as like clicky I'm sure it is to like an extent but it- you know what I I've done comedy everywhere I go I try to at least I hit an open mic or I will my girlfriend don't love this, but I will go on like Facebook or Instagram and I will hashtag where I'm going and search yeah. all the comedians and ask for spots, spot, spot, yeah, spot, yeah, yeah. you know? So um, we were just in well, last place before COVID. Uh, we were in Portland and Seattle. Oh, and um, yeah, it was a good time. My, my girlfriend is a huge, um, the vampire movies from there. Twilight. Yes. I've never seen one, but yeah. Well, yeah. So she and my daughter, my youngest, right? We're huge fans. And she used to t- go to take her to the opening of those movies, you know, years yeah. ago. I've been with her 18 years. So she's oh. been with my kids many, you know, many years. So my daughter actually went with us too. So we all mm-hmm. went to Forks and to do the whole Twilight thing. My daughter and her were just like loved every minute. Yeah. Uh, my daughter, my daughter's like, you know, she's a little lesbian. So she had a crush on Kristen Stewart from the minute <laughs> she saw yeah. those movies, you know? Yeah. Um, so, but anyway, I hit them all up. So I went and I did a couple open mics in Seattle and I got into like, um, the, was it the laugh factory? And I did an open mic there and it was a lot of fun. And actually the guy that, um, you know, booked the club or whatever had asked me to feature for whoever, whoever was coming like that weekend, which I mean, you know, but here's the thing is, when you, when I've noticed, when I travel to do open mics, um, it's not so much maybe that I'm like really that funny, but it's kind of like, oh, new me. Like yeah. we're so sick of seeing the same 
people coming. But I've got to tell you, I had 30 comics at an open mic. 